The story behind I Am You is uh, questions from the artist to his audience. Am I you? Do I communicate only with someone who's interested enough to listen to my music? Or do I try to communicate with people who don't necessarily listen to my music and I'm desperately trying to reach them? You don't feel like dancing no disco, no reggae, no dub Won't make you feel like dancing Welcome to the club So instead of saying I love you or I am looking like you or I have the same taste uh, Well, yeah, it just says I am you and you are me maybe and so there's also the reason of the, the sleeve of the album, which is the same person twice because it's a little, a little person that's been cut into a sheet of paper. And it shows that we can be two while being one, and we as well can be one while being two. And it's simply the fact that we cut the shape of the character into the paper. All of a sudden it brings two different characters. I am Though you might think I'm not I am you No, I didn't smoke pot This album came from a reflection on the format of the music uh, Something that I wanted to be in between songs and instrumental music So I, I wanted to be none of those two extremes I, I mean, not real songs, but not instrumental For several reasons, because I think that uh, instrumental always leads sooner or later to a lot of complication and becomes more and more sophisticated, which I didn't want this album to be. I wanted this album to be simple. I am you, though you might think I'm worse. I am you, I'm the part you rehearse. So songs, purely songs like, like uh, there's thousands or millions of them today, didn't interest me too much. So I, I came up with that format where you have half songs, half vocals, and half instrumental. First, we have Christa Jerome, who is the vocalist. She sings all the time, more and more. Also, there's Bert Joris, he's a trumpet player, he's been there from the beginning. Also, there's Alain de Bézieux, who's in charge of sound and computer problems and is mixing together with me very often. Fabrice Alman on the saxophone. And then we have uh, Philippe Catherine on guitar, very good guitar player, very good composer, very sensitive, very sensible. I think the, the lyrics of this album, they kind of depict someone who's me, you know, someone that I wouldn't recommend to anybody. So for, very often uh, songs are about the guy who sings them or the girl who sings them. But this time it's about me, but it's not me who are singing them, except maybe for me and my ego, which I had to sing myself. Who's been voted best looking couple of the year? Although I said this, this album is about me, I don't think it's about me in particular. It's about how I see the generic man, you know. We're from way back. We're from long ago. Our relation is aging like a shadow Margot. I don't 
shown too much of myself, actually, because I don't like to do that. I just like to express my music, but I'm not specially convinced by the importance of telling lots of things about myself. Every day is the day Every day should be gay Every day is the day It's not wise to delay Every day is the day once you're a very happy person or very optimistic person. So let's stick to that. Music is my husband, but rhythm is my lover. Music is something more general, I mean, that, that has many respects, many aspects. Rhythm is about moving, about being physical. And so it's the lover's department, physic, <laughs> husband is average life in general. I mean, that, that's what it stands for, I suppose so. Music welcomes rhythm, they don't hate each other. 